The Travel Foundation started working in Jamaica because tourism is one of the main engines of growth of the Jamaican economy. In order to really unlock the positive benefits of tourism, there is still a need to increase the income and the local economic benefits of tourism. The first project that the Travel Foundation worked on in Montego Bay was with the Rastafari Indigenous Village that showcases the lifestyle, or what we call the liberty, um, the traditions and the practices of the Rastafari movement. So the Travel Foundation worked with the Rastafari Indigenous community to enable them to be able to increase their income from tourism. So we worked with them to improve their infrastructure, provided capacity building, and also worked with them to meet the regulations and standards uh, requirements of the Jamaica Tourist Board so that they could get their license to operate as a tourism entity. What Travel Foundation actually uh, gave us was a kind of a boosting of our identity in the sense that they were the ones who came and showed us that you do have a value and a value that you could charge for in a particular way, you know. The training was, was almost a confirmation that what we thought in our mind is possible. You know, the best practice examples of different ways how people are doing it. The excellent uh, pictures that they gave us that we use for our marketing. The way how we develop the brochures to speak uh, to, the, to, the, to, 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 to the tour operators has been, yeah, great. So it has been a huge learning experience about how to interface with the industry. And that's what we liked about the whole Travel Foundation thing. Rastafari Village is definitely a place to go if you want to see the true experience. The highlight probably was a drumming session. It's such a, a beautiful and spiritual uh, experience. You can also explore and play instruments yourself and um, it's something very special. 